you tell them one thing. Just one thing, dude. It's your boy Samoa Raider live right now on this little vlog right now. And you guys are probably wondering, yo, what is this vlog about? Well, I mean, if you read the title, then you probably already know. But your boy came on a spontaneous trip today uh, to the home of the Raiders. Las Vegas, baby, because your boy is going to be going on a stadium tour pretty soon. Shout out to my boy Al Thompson, man, that hit me up, uh, you know, hooked your boy up to come through. So we, we're going to try to get some clips here and there of the tour and, and see how everything's going to be. I know I'm going to be excited because this is going to be the first time I will actually be in Allegiant Stadium, you know. <laughs> Our stadium, bro, look at Your boy just pulled up. The perks of living only two hours away. Just pulled up. The stadium's right there. My neck and my back. Bro. My neck and my back. <laughs> but it's fun to be lit. I'm going to be vlogging some of the stuff. And I'm going to be going, you know, voiceovering a lot of other things. But I'm going to be kicking it with uh, my boy Al in just a bit. But again, Raider Nation, if you guys do enjoy the video and you guys want to see more vlogs like this. Because your boy is going to be out in Vegas a lot this season. Especially now that the season has opened up to fans. So if you guys do enjoy this and I could do more of these, just smash that like button. Again. I'm just excited to be here in Vegas, man. It's always a blessing to be out here. And I love Las Vegas, bro, especially now that the Raiders are here. So, Raider Nation, I'll see you guys inside. Man, Yay! look at look, look what I got here, man. My boy Al over here, man. We out here, the Shoot. new home. Take boy, your shoes off because you OD and you like, yo, Raiders, <laughs> we in the building, bitches. Fuck the donkeys. They're like, sir, sir. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's where you're supposed to be, though. It's yeah, too sweet out here. <laughs> Wake up, Raider Nation. Let's go. So we out here about to get ready to finally go into Allegiant Stadium. Bro, this, this shit going to be lit. I'm telling you right now. I, I feel like a kid in a candy shop right now. Cannot wait. <laughs> yes, sir. You ready for your second go around? Hey, I'm ready. <laughs> We're going to make it happen. We're going to see where... Our new home is, we've been deserving this for years and years and years. Toilets that actually flush, <laughs> lanes of hallways that are wide enough for everybody to do what they need to do and get that next round of beer. Also, just a museum feel, quality, baby. This is like Yee. the Tesla of stadiums. Tell your story, dog. <laughs> oh man, we just touched down in Vegas. I'm hanging out with Almond. Five minutes I touched down, we almost go to jail. They gonna call Metro on it. Jeez. Hanging out with this guy, I guess it's gonna be that type of weekend, you know? I'm just glad they found out I was not on parole anymore. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm right in front of Allegiant Stadium, the greatest stadium in the history of the NFL. But we about to go on a stadium tour again. Shout out to my boy Al for having your boy out here. But we're gonna get a couple clips. And I'm gonna just get as much clips as I can inside. Hope you guys enjoy. So we ended up starting our tour and we head over to the lobby. We get our badges and we just wait in the lobby until we're called. And one big thing I didn't know until my boy Al told me was your tour experience really depends on who your tour guide are. We had two guys, I believe their names was David and Billy, and they were really dope guys. And if you guys do get them on the tour, man, you're gonna have a great time. So the first thing we ended up seeing on our tour was the Al Davis torch, the brand new torch in Allegiant Stadium. Now, we also get our first look at the actual field, which man, it was amazing to see for the very first time. So this area right here was the Coors Light Lounge, I believe I believe that's what it was called, where a lot of people can come and hang out. Again, you get another view of the torch and on the side, it says the fire that burns the brightest is the will to win. Again, we get another view of this beautiful field. Now, moving on, we got to see some of the Hall of Famers on the wall and you know, their number on the wall hopefully one of these days we can see uh, that number four up there <laughs> you never know but it was great to see as well we got to take a little sneak peek into the production booth where Brent Musburger actually calls the game from and you can see his actual view from his box now throughout this whole stadium there's a lot of dope you know artwork murals and whatnot it seems like a whole museum like a you know a whole museum of Las Vegas history and Raiders history which was dope to see there's a there was even one painting or one picture that I seen of you know like Raider influencers and Raider players from the 
the past and the present all in one picture which was dope as much as I liked all of these dope artwork there was one that I had to question and I was wondering like why 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 would they even have this in Allegiant Stadium I mean hopefully one of these days they could take it down and we also had a chance to go and visit our owner Mark Davis's suite in Allegiant Stadium of course it's gonna be nice it's gonna be clean and this is the only suite that has tile flooring we even got to test out the Raiders chant just to hear the echo in the stadium Now moving on, we got to actually go into the Raiderettes locker room where they go and change and whatnot. Obviously there was no Raiderettes over there changing, but we got to see the uniforms past to present, which I thought was really nice to see, you know, a bit of history. Now, since we're on the subject of locker rooms, we finally got to go and see the official Raiders locker room where they go and change before game days. Now the biggest rule there was not to step on the Raiders logo. I mean, if that's not obvious already, but we do get to see Derek Carr's official locker room with his official dress jersey and helmet alongside of Josh Jacobs, Max Crosby, and Darren Waller. Now in this section of the tour, there is a huge surprise that I do not want to spoil for any of you guys. If you're going to go on the tour, then you guys could go and experience it. It was the only part of the tour that we couldn't take pictures at. It's a part of the tour that you just got to live in the moment and it was just fun to see. Now the moment has finally come to actually go and see the field up close and personal and man i was like a kid in a candy store just hyped and excited just being on field and seeing and experiencing the stadium from that view not only that we got to catch marcel reese and his family on the field like right when we got on the field they were on the field at the same time but just being in awe and just experiencing this whole stadium from the field you know from the actual field is crazy in itself one of the rules that they said was not to you know run on the grass and as you can see man my boy Al he didn't care he still went out there and ran that route you know the Raiders do need a wide receiver and you know you can sign my boy for a one-year ten dollar contract man look at my boy go Raider Nation this is an experience my boy it's crazy out here <laughs> Raiders so we just left the field right now man beautiful bro but we're going through the corridors right now where the players usually be at but Raiders! and as we near the end of our tour uh we had the drink and view special so they gave us some type of voucher it looked like a casino chip to go get a free drink and we also did some type of video like a adult video where it zooms out of the stadium and zooms back into you as you guys can see right here but overall it was a great experience and they actually opened up the lanai doors i guess they don't really do that a lot but we were lucky enough to witness that and on top of that man while we were getting our drinks we ran into marcel reese again and he paid for some of the homies drinks which was pretty dope in its Self. And to top off my whole experience on a high note, I actually got to take a picture with Marcel Reese, man. That dude was down to earth. So if I had to like grade this whole experience, you know, from start to finish, from having really dope tour guides to, you know, experiencing the whole field, getting to meet Marcel Reese, and also getting to see the Lanai doors open and just chilling right next to the strip, man. It, it I would give this a 10 out of 10, an A plus. Overall Raider Nation, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Until the next video, this is your boy Simone Raider and your boy is, yeah.